All right, uh, bracket the Yahweh, bracket the Yahweh Shai, bracket the Yahweh, bracket the Yahweh Shai, bracket the Yahweh, bracket the Yahweh Shai. First and foremost, I want to give all praises, all honor, and all glory unto Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem Rechakwadash. I want to give double honors to my apostles and elders at Great Millstone, which rule well. And I want to give all peace, greetings, and salutations to all the Lekakim. That's pushing his word in our truth and sincerity, you know, throughout the four corners of the earth, you know, and our brothers that's not wavering in the faith, you know, being diligent in his truth. You know, I say shalom to you, brothers, you know, and I say shalom, you know, to the few sisters that believe in all meekness and humbleness. You know, I say shalom, you know, uh, I'm your brother Zakaria from GMS Miami camp and Lord willing, you know, through the spirit and power of Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Kakadash, you know, uh, Adawan Rathaza, you know, that means Lord willing. You know, so Lord willing, this lesson is uh, edifying to the elect of the nation of Israel. You know, and my lesson today, you know, through the spirit and power of uh, through the spirit and power of Yahweh, Bashim Yahweh, you know, Bashim Kakadash, is going to be basing on you know giving more thanks to Yahweh, Bashim Yahweh, man. You know, being more thankful uh, for this truth. You know, and always uh, you know say the water to Yahweh, by the water Yahweh Shai. You know, for everything, for for the daily benefits. You know, for waking us up. You know, for giving us His name. In this captivity, you know, for giving us his word, you know, and, and, and giving us the, the, the scriptures, the brotherhood, the Akim, all right, the, the Holy Spirit, you know, that's why King David said, you know, told the Lord, take not away thy Holy Spirit away from me, all right, and that's the prayer that we're supposed to be saying, you know, daily, and, you know, being more thankful, man, that the Lord brought you into this ministry, and also me, Lord, when we are part of that, we're going to be saved, man. You know, so this book of Second Samuel, I just typed in then think I just typed in the word thanks in the blue letter, you know, and these are all the scriptures that came up, you know. So I'm just wrote wrote through it, wrote through it, you know, through the spirit and power how about Shai, how our forefathers gave thanks unto the Lord. All right, this is book of Second Samuel, chapter twenty-two and verse fifty. It says, Therefore I will give thanks unto thee, O Lord Yahweh, among the heathen, and I will sing praises unto thy name. You know, that's what we do, man. You know, we give thanks unto you, how about Shah among the heathens? Because, hey, we in the, we in our captivity right now. All right. All right. Throughout the four corners of the earth. You know, you got brothers here in Babylon, the great, which is America. You got brothers on the on the islands. All right? You got brothers in uh, what Canada, Hawaii. All right. Uh, what South America, all over the world, man. You know, we giving thanks, you know, in the, in the, while we are around our enemies, while we in captivity, man. All right. And we prophesy against our enemies, man. We prophesy against Esau, Edom, the so-called white man, which is our main enemy. And he's going down, man. It says, I will pr sing praises unto thy name. And the Lord said, you know, be uh, dwell with hymns, you know, roughly paraphrasing. You know, I believe that's in uh, Colossians, I believe. Let me get that. Yeah, this is a book of uh of Ephesians 2. It's Ephesians chapter 5, verse 19. It says, speaking, in your, speaking to yourselves in psalms and hymns and spirit... Yeah, psalms and, and hymns and spiritual songs, singing and making a melody in your heart to the Lord. You know, you know, you know. We we uh, sing unto the Lord, but we don't put it out in public. You know, giving thanks unto Yahweh Bashim Hashem. This is Colossians three and sixteen it says, "Let the word of Hamashiach dwell in you richly, in all wisdom, teaching and admonish one another in psalms and hymns and spiritual songs, singing with grace in your hearts to the Lord." You know, it's all given. Praise unto you, how about Shema Shah? Because our people are, you know, are our spiritual people, man. You know, in one way, you know, we express we express our, our ourselves through music. You know, like I said, we don't put it out for the public. We don't put it out, you know, but we sing, you know, to the Lord, man. Give thanks unto you, how about Shema Shah, man. You know, that's our power. That's our God, man. And our and, uh, and the heavenly Father, how is gonna send. Yahweh shot back with the word eagerly called Jesus Christ, our big brother, to deliver us, man. Lord, when are we a party leg? That's the that's gonna be the greatest day ever, man, for us, man. It's gonna be a a, a dark day, you know. A trip said darkness and gloominess. Right, it's gonna be World War Three, the hour of temptation. It's gonna be the scripture say through much tribulation shall you enter the kingdom. But ultimately, once we Lord, Lord when we party leg, once we inside the chariot, the Lord give us these new bodies. And hey, we're going to be perfect, man. We're going to serve the Lord perfectly, man. We're never going to sin again. We're never going to go off. All right, we're going to be, uh, we, everything that we lost in this side, we're going to have a bondage. We're going to live forever. All right, the scripture say, I have not seen, ear, neither have ear heard what the Lord got for us, man. You know, so that's why you got to be more thankful for your help about Shema Shah. Yeah, the Lord chastises, chastises us, you know. Ship said, talk about a light affliction, man. 
All right, because the glory that's going that we're going to receive is going to be outweigh uh, anything that we ever went through, you know. So this is a book of uh, God. This is uh, First Chronicle, chapter sixteen and verse eight. It says, "Give thanks unto the Lord, call upon His name, make known His deeds among the people." Man, so we give always give thanks to Yahweh and call upon His name, man. That's what the Lord love when you call upon His name, man. You know, His true name, the Heavenly Father name is Yahweh. Yahweh means He to be or He exists. And the only, his only God son name is Yahweh Shah. Yahweh Shah means he saved, he delivered, man. All right. That's what we call upon, man. We don't call upon idols, man. All right. Any other thing that you calling on, any other, any other, you know, God that you call on is an idol. And the Lord going to destroy you because the first commandment, the Lord said, have no, no other God before him. You know, roughly paraphrasing, you know, have, uh, let me get the Exodus 20. I don't want to butcher it. Exodus 20 and verse 1, it says, And Yahweh spake all these words, saying, I am the Lord, thy power, which have brought thee out of the land of Egypt, out of the house of bondage. This is the same power, our our power, because he, he doesn't change not. Let me just get that. Malachi, what, 3 and 6? It says, For I am the Lord, Yahweh Bashimashai, I change not. Therefore, ye sons of Jacob, not consumed. This is the same power. This is the same God. This is our God that delivered us out of ancient Egypt. Exodus 20 and verse 2, it says, I am the Lord, Yahweh, which sought thy power, thy God, which have brought thee out of the land of Egypt, out of the house of bondage. Thou shalt have no other gods before me. Thou shalt not make the make unto thee eat any graven image, image or any likeness of anything that is in heaven above or that is in the earth beneath for so, or that is in the in the water under the earth, you know, so like it says, verse five, it says, thou shalt not bow down thyself to them, nor serve them. For I, the Lord power, Yahweh Shemashah is a jealous power, visiting the iniquity of the fathers unto the children, unto the third and fourth generation of them that hate me, going into reincarnation. So the Lord is a jealous power. All right. The Lord is a jealous power. If you have a woman, look at the example of a woman. All right. You want your woman to, to serve you. You want your woman to to, to, to call upon you. We're, we're the Lord like in Israel to a, a calmly and delicate woman. All right. All right. We're not supposed to have a woman supposed to be with one husband. All right. That's how the Lord want us to be one with him. All right. Calling upon him for everything. Giving thanks unto him. Going to him for answers. Going to him for help. You know. You know. And the Lord set up uh, with the body, you know, the brothers around you. All right. We all connected, you know, through the spirit and power. How about Shema Shad, man? You know, you ask the Lord for, for anything, you know, and he'll give it to you. Whether it be the Lord giving it to you, you know, uh, himself, you know, all of all of it is for him. You know, he'll help, have a brother, you know, use it. I'll have a brother. He'll use a brother to help you, you know. Use you know anything you know because the how about Shema Shai is a true power man, all right. So back at you know giving thanks unto the Lord man, you know I don't want to ramble off, you know I just type in thanks man. Actually let's look up this word thanks, should be the water. So like you, blue layer. Thanks, yeah. The water, yeah, the water. It says give thanks, loud praise, you know, thankful. It says, especially to revere or worship, you know. All right, so let's go back to it. Giving thanks to y'all, Bashi Mashah, always, man. First Chronicles chapter 16 and verse 34. It says, Oh, thanks, oh, give thanks unto the Lord, Yahweh Bashi Mashah, for he is good, for his mercy endure forever. And that's what we would want the Lord, man. To have those tender mercies that he had, uh, you know, that he showed upon um our forefather David, 
You want to tend the mercies of David be upon, upon us, man. Lord, when we are part of elect, we the house of David. You know, because our sins, you know, the Lord said our righteousness is filthy rags, man. And the Lord count, he, the Lord said uh, a man at his best estate is vanity, you know. And what Apostle Paul said, you know, when it's sinful, who shall, the, oh, wretched man that I am, who shall deliver me from this death? You know, roughly paraphrasing, you know. So he's all about the mercy of Yahweh Shema Shah. We ask the Lord, you know, to not impute sin upon us, you know, that we may be those virgins, you know, uh, Revelation, I believe, Revelation 14. All right. The Lord in their mouths with no gal. Because this is all of Yahweh Shema Shah, you know. We're not perfect. We're going to be, we're striving to be perfect, but we ain't going to be made perfect until the Lord, you know, uh, deliver us, man. And the Lord give us uh, bodies like unto his, his Lord change all of our body. And make it like unto his glorious body, man. That's what we're waiting for, man. First Chronicles chapter 16 and verse 35. It says, And say ye, save us, O Yahweh, of our salvation, and gather us together and deliver us from the heathen, that we may give thanks to thy holy name and glory and thy praise, man. Save us, you know, gather us and deliver us from the heathen. All right, because the scripture said, Baruch, we are yet this day in our captivity, you know, subject what thou has scattered us, you know, subject to payments, you know, roughly paraphrasing, man. We in fucking captivity, man. And the Lord going to get us out, man. Speedily. Esau, even the so-called white man, going to come down having great wrath. He going to try to push his uh, NWO, you know, with his little karagma that the scriptures talk about. All right. But the Lord said he going to lift up a standard in the hour of temptation. All right. And he's going to deliver us from among the heathens. That's the gospel. That's the good news. It says, uh, Nahum, I believe. Judah, keep your vows. Yeah, this is Nahum. Yeah, Nahum 1 and 15. It says, behold upon the mount, uh, upon the mountain, the, the feet of him that bringeth good tidings, meaning good news, that publish peace. Because we tell our people, hey, peace is coming. Oh, Judah, keep thy solemn feasts. Perform thy vows, for the wicked shall no more pass through thee. He is utterly cut off. And that's the good news. The wicked is not going to pass through us no more. He, he, the Lord's going to cut him off. The scripture says the triumph of the wicked is short and the joy of the hypocrite. But for a moment, man. All right. All right. The Lord got blessings and, and more blessings and more blessings upon us, man, that he's going to perform. All right. So we got to give the Lord thanks, man. Like, no matter what you're going through, no matter what, what the hell, your woman job finance anything ailments demons fucking with you give things to y'all by shima shot man all right this is a book of uh <laughs> ezra 3 and 11 and they sing together by chorus and praising and giving thanks unto the lord because he is good for his mercy endures forever towards israel Ooh, towards Israel, Yasharala, man, we are the prince of the power. All right, his mercy is good towards Israel, not towards Edom, not towards Moab, not towards Japhet, Ham, none, none of them nations. Towards Israel, man. <laughs> Call a lot of my shot. Says, and all the people shouted with a great shout when they praised the Lord because the foundation of the house of the Lord was laid. All right. All right. They was building the temple. They had to build back up the temple that was failed, man. All right. Ezra. Yeah, it was the time of Zerubbabel. Yep. Thanks. Okay. Demon coming over here. Bear with me, I can. All right. This is the book of uh, Psalm, chapter 18, and verse 49. It says, Therefore will I give thanks unto thee, O Yahweh Bashimal Shai, among the heathen, and pray, start, and sing praises unto thy name. Verse th uh, Psalms 30, 30 and 4 it says, Sing unto the Lord, O ye saints of his. And give thanks at the remembrance of his holiness. Psalms 30 and 12. To the end that my glory may sing. So my glory may sing praise to thee. And be not silent. O Lord my power. I will give thanks unto thee, unto thee forever. 
Psalms 35 and 18, I will give thanks in the great congregation. I will praise thee among, among much people. Psalm 75 and 1. Unto thee, O Yahweh, do I give thanks. Unto thee do we give thanks. For that thy name is near thy wonder, wondrous works declared. All right. Psalm 79 and 13. So thy people and sheep of thy pasture will give thee thanks forever. We will show forth thy praise to all generations. And we giving praises in the Lord to the Lord in this in this generation. The Lord said, um, this this generation shall not pass away till all be fulfilled. And she was talking about this generation gonna 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 give thanks to him, you know, roughly paraphrasing. This gener is something about the generation, this generation. Yeah, this is um, this is Psalms twenty four, in verse six. It says, "This is the generation of them that seek Him, that seek Thy face, O Jacob." Say lie, and this this is the generation, man, because this is the last generation. So we seeking the Lord now in the land of our captivity, man. Giving thanks unto His name, man. All right. Psalms ninety. Psalms 92 and verse 1, it says a song or sab song for the Sabbath. It is a good thing to give thanks unto the Lord thy power, unto the Lord, and to sing praise unto thy name, O Most High. Psalm 79 and 12 says, Rejoice in the Lord, ye righteous, and give thanks at the remembrance of his holiness. Psalms 105 and verse 1, O give thanks unto the Lord, call upon his name, make known his deeds among the people. You know, so hey, it's all of the scriptures talk about giving thanks psalms psalms um 122 and 4 it says whether the tribes go up the tribes of the lord unto the testimony of israel to give thanks unto the name of the lord all right man call her like man all right call her like my shy First Corinthians 15 and verse 57. But thanks be to Yahweh, which have given us the victory through our Lord, Yahweh Shah Mashiach. You know, you know, we got victory through our Lord, Yahweh Shah. And this is the same chapter that we're going to be changing the twinkle of the eye. Mm -hmm. Oh, second Corinthians 9 and 15. Thanks be unto Yahweh Bashi Mashiach for his unspeakable gift. Call her like Yahweh Mashiach, man. Ephesians 5 and 20, giving thanks always for all things unto the Most High and the Father in the name of our Lord, Yahweh Shah Mashiach. Colossians 1 and 3, we give thanks to Yahweh and the Father of our Lord, Yahweh Shah Mashiach, praying always for you. We got to pray for each other, man. In the name of Yahweh Bashi Mashiach, you know. Colossians 1 and 12. Giving thanks unto the Father, which have made us meet to be partakers of the inheritance of the saints in light. So it's all through the Spirit and power. Yahweh Shemashah, he called us in his ministry. Ephesians, uh, I don't know, Colossians 3 and 17. And whatsoever ye do in word or deed, do it all in the name of the Lord, Yahweh Shai. Uh, Lord, Yahweh Shai, giving thanks to the Most High and to the Father by him. So whatever you do in word or deed, do it in the name of the Lord, Yahweh Shai. Giving thanks to Yahweh and the Father by him. All right, so whatever you do, man, you know, you do it in the name of Yahweh by Shema Shai. And you're supposed to love and deed, love in your know, word and deed, man. You know, you're supposed to, uh, you know, talking to myself first and foremost, there's a way you walk in this truth, man. You just can't be reckless out here. You got to walk a certain way, man. The way that Yahweh Shemashah told us to. First Thessalonians 1 and 12 says, We give thanks to the Most High, Yahweh, always for you all, making mention of you in our prayers, man. First Thessalonians 5 and 18, and everything give thanks, and everything give thanks, for this is the will of the Most High in Hamashiach, Yahweh Shah, concerning you.
2 Thessalonians 2, 2 and 13. But we are bound to give thanks always to the Most High for you, brethren, beloved of the Lord, because Yahweh have from the beginning chosen you to salvation through sanctification of the spirit and belief of the truth, man. It's all about uh, predestination, predestination, man. The elect was chosen from the beginning to receive this. First Timothy 2 and 1. I exhort, therefore, that first of all supplications, prayers, intercessions, and giving thanks be made for all men. Hebrews 13 and 15. By him, therefore, let us offer the sacrifice of the praise of the Most High continually. That is the fruit of our lips, giving thanks to his name. That's our sacrifice, man. We're not sacrificing bullocks because Yahushua was that ultimate sacrifice. Now our, our sacrifice is, you know, making our body a living sacrifice. We go out on how it's in byways and prophesy. And also the, the, the words, you know, what we're teaching. All right. The sacrifice of our lips. The fruit of our lips. You know, it said the fruit of our lips giving thanks to the most high, man. Revelation 5 and Revelation 4 and 9 says, And when those beasts gave glory and honor and thanks to him that sat upon the throne who liveth forever and ever. Because these are the angels. They just praise the Lord. They throw their crowns at the Lord, you know, saying, holy, holy, holy. I believe that's the same chapter. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's, the angels sit down, throw their crown to the Lord, say, holy, holy, holy. You know, almighty, which was and is and to come, man. You know, they just sit down and cast his throne and, you know, praising you how about Shema Shai, man. You know, one more. That was the last one. I close out. There's many more. In the apocrypha, I could have did that, but this that lesson would this lesson that lesson would have been long, so I just did it a blue letter, you know. Which the apocrypha is a part of the Bible, the Bible destruction group took it out, but hey, we gotta be more thankful, man. Be more thankful for your how about Shema Shai, you know, for everything, man, everything. And that's the Lord, that, you know, make us be better. Let us be better servants, better sons, you know, better, you know, better servants of Him, man. You know, Revelation eleven and seventeen. Saying, we give thanks, O Yahweh, by Shema Shai Almighty, which art and was and art to come, because thou hast taken to thee thy great power and has reigned, man. All right. So, man, we got a great, glorious kingdom coming. You know, we just got to, you know, buckle down, you know, you know, get, you know, tune, get tuned more in the spirit and empower Yahweh by Shema Shai. And get ready for the time of Jacob's trouble. But the Lord said he's going he gonna to deliver us out, man. Continue doing what you're doing, prophesying, you know, repenting. Or first and foremost, repenting for, to Yahweh by Shema Shai. Ask the Lord for, to forgive you, have mercy, kasadium, you know, and, and get more, be more diligent. You know, and keep fighting, man. Keep fighting, giving praise to Yahweh by Shema Shai, man. You know, so Lord, one of his lessons are edifying to the elect of the nation of Israel. You know, I want to give all praises, all honor, and all glory. Unto Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rechakodash. I want to give double honors to my apostles and elders at Great Millstone, which rule all. And I want to give out peace, greetings, and salutations to all the elect Akim that's pushing this word in truth and, truth and sincerity. A hey, Shalom Akim, keep pushing, keep it doing. Shalom.